Hi, <clears throat> I'm Paul Adams from Cambridge, and this is my sister, Pauline Grimes, and we were models for Norman Rockwell in 1952. And uh, this is uh, Pauline and Mary Beth, and th this is this is uh, this is me in this picture, and the Pauline and Mary Beth and our older brother Carl. And we met uh, Norman uh, Rockwell through Grandma Moses. And our great. grandmother and, and our uh, great grandmother knew Grandma Moses. They lived in Eagle Bridge. And, and uh, Grandma Moses and Norman Rockwell were friends, both being artists. And she asked, uh, Norman Rockwell asked Grandma Moses if she knew of any colored people in Cambridge that would be interested for modeling. And, uh, Grandma Moses said, I know a lady, Martha Adams, that has four kids. Uh, they, they might be interested. So uh, Norman Rockwell called my mother and said, would you be interested in modeling? My mother said, sure, but we have no way to go to Arlington. My mother didn't drive. So Norman Rockwell hired a taxi, Bill Butler from Cambridge, to bring us up to Arlington for modeling in 1952. And, and we each got uh, $5 for modeling. And, and my mother said, now, we were pre-warned that you want to be on your best behavior. Um, this is a, a famous artist, so uh, if you want to, uh, you know, don't act up or anything like that. And we wore our church clothes up there, all dressed up, white shirts and everything. <clears throat> Next thing I knew when we got up there, he wanted us to take our shirts off. So uh, this, this, this picture here is when we were up there in the studio in West Arlington. This is my mother, Martha Adams. And, and this, this is... Uh, me and uh, that's Pauline and that's Carl. And uh, we each got uh, five dollars for modeling. And uh, Norman Rockwell said if we could, if Pauline and I could both stand still uh, for about 20 minutes so he could do a sketch of us, we could each get a bottle of. Uh, Coca-Cola that was outside so I said I'm going to just stand as still as I can and when we got done uh, We was our family was uh, the only one in the studio that afternoon We went out to get ready to go and I went over to the snowbank My mother says don't touch that that doesn't belong to us that uh, get in the car the taxi's waiting But n my mother didn't hear Norman Rockwell say that we could have that so we were a little bit disappointed because we didn't get the Coca-Cola but uh, we got, each got five dollars for modeling, and, and uh, that was uh, we got ice cream on the way home. So uh, that that was a that was a good day. Yeah, we we really liked it. But uh, we were waiting and waiting. That was in '52. Norman Rockwell moved to Stockbridge in '53, and we hadn't heard anything. And uh, our older brother Virgil, he was in 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 uh, Amsterdam, Holland, and he saw uh, Norman Rockwell the picture on the Saturday Evening Post. Uh, 1961 and he uh, wrote a letter to mom and said think our Norman Rockwell pictures on the Saturday evening post Wow, we were all excited jumping for joy and then my mother went down to Drugstore to get it and it was 15 cents and we thought that our picture was on the front cover of the Saturday evening post for years and we found out that uh, we might we posed for that picture But we weren't actually in it on the Saturday evening post cover. It was a family from Stockbridge That, that was actually on the front cover. So uh, we were a little bit disappointed about that. But then, uh, as years went on, we were in the United Nations picture. Uh, we, we the people. So, uh, here's me right here. Can't even see it. I don't have my glasses on. And there's Pauline, mm -hmm. and our mother is up. Right in, right here. Right up there yep. in the corner yep. of a uh, uh, United Nations picture, we the people. But our brother and sister didn't didn't make the cut. It was just uh, me and Pauline and our mother. Yeah, we the people. He didn't use that painting. Uh, well, it was a, a charcoal drawing. He never colored it or painted it. Um, he felt that um, for that time. Uh, period that um, it might be a little bit too much and he, he didn't feel comfortable uh, painting it and publishing it. 
So it was put away in the archives and um, it stayed there for years. And then uh, Stockbridge brought it out. And when they brought it out, it was disintegrating. And they wanted to preserve it. I'm so glad they did because it was a piece of our history that would, would never have been, been found or, you know, shown. And so they sent it away and to a place where they, they took, put it in three parts. They cut it into three pieces and it had to go into a special solution. At first they had to take the glue off. It had rubber cement on the back and by hand they had to chisel that glue off this very thin charcoal drawing. It's a miracle that they did it. And uh, they, they, uh, the chemical that they used gave moisture to the piece of paper. They were able to preserve it. And I'm so glad that they did because uh, it, it was a, it's a beautiful piece of history that could have been lost. It ended up, uh, it went on tour when they completed it. It was at the United Nations. And uh, my family, we all went down to see it. They called us, they told us, uh, invited us down to the United Nations to see it on display. And uh, my husband and my, my son, uh, Ramirez, and his kids, and uh, my husband's sister, Thelma, uh, we all went down and spent the day. And uh, they were so nice. We were met by um, the uh, Secretary of State, um, Jan Ilezan. Uh he met us and we went up as we went up to the 30th something floor and uh, he greeted us and he said welcome he said um, I understand that your mother didn't drive and that you uh, your mother hired a taxi and the taxi driver's name was Bill Butler and we just oh we fell out laughing it's for him to, we were so tickled. And he did some research on us. As busy as he was, uh, second from the top, he did some research on our family. And he pulled, uh, found the name, Bill Butler, our taxi driver, that took us to Arlington to model for Norman Rockwell. Okay. And, and that's, that's our, our Norman, Norman Rockwell, Rockwell story. story.